YouTube reminder if you want to lesson with me check the link in the description below let's talk about clefts which are the scariest thing on the face of the planet for trombonists anyway cool thing is we don't have to transpose a lot we have transposing treble clef and that's kind of it trumpet players horn players they have to transpose everything all the time which I think is way harder so clefts are hard transposing way worse Count your lucky stars that you play, well, maybe not alto trombone, but something a little more normal like this. So, clefs. What do I mean when I'm talking about clefs? Well, most of us start on bass clef if we play trombone, especially in the US. If you're in the UK, maybe you start on transposing treble clef. That's okay too. Um, and maybe if you play baritone in the US, when you start out, you start on transposing treble as well. And at some point, you probably learn bass clef or you quit playing. I don't know. I don't know anybody who does that all the way through high school and then college. In any case, most of us play, I'd say 90% of us play bass clef. And then at some point, tenor clef? Alto clef? What are these new things that make music way harder to read? Well, they're not all that bad, right? Um, one... They're not that bad, and two, guess what? You have to learn them anyway. They're a necessary evil. They're not going away. Um, there's all the arguments like, well, in jazz music, all the stuff's written in a bass clef when you just use letter lines. Yeah, that's true, but there's a lot of orchestral parts and new music and solos that are written with tenor or alto clef, and you just gotta get used to it, and there's no way around it. So, cautionary tale, I got into clefs way too late because I started on bass clef and I just kind of soldiered on for way too long like into grad school without be really being able to read tenor clef and if nothing else you need to be able to read tenor and bass pretty much equally and I kind of got all the way through that point just reading bass clef and guess what I ran up against the wall where I was like ooh especially if I'm doubling because I do that I play tenor trombone as well I need to be able to read tenor clef and so I've doubled down, I've worked on it a lot. Even before the pandemic, I was feeling much better about my tenor clef playing than I ever have. Um, and during the pandemic, guess what? I've played the crap out of a lot of tenor clef. Uh, my main method has been the Mulcahy, there we go, that's his name, it's down here. <laughs> it's on two different pages. Michael Mulcahy, Michael Mulcahy. Um, this thing is ratty, dang. I've been playing the Bordoni book, and after number 59, because this is all three Bordoni books in one, um, they're all in tenor or alto clef. So I've played all the tenor clef ones. I'm in to 91 now. So I've read probably 20 something in tenor, which has been great. And now, you know, I can't just plonk it down, sight read it perfectly. But after like two reads, I've got the gist of it, and I can just play in all key signatures, which is really big for me. And now, of course, the big thing is alto clef, which I've also run into. And so I've started working on this. Um, there's the Blazevich tenor book, or uh, tenor and alto book, which works on clefs, and it's great. The problem is it goes straight from, here's bass clef, we all know bass clef. Here's alternating alto and tenor and like the second exercise. And for someone like me who is like just barely dipping his toes into tenor, it's just impossible. So I recommend finding an easy book, something like this. Um, you can probably find this somewhere. I don't know. I just happen to find this in my stash of books. Really easy stuff in alto where you can just like sit down, put the metronome at like 10 beats per minute and just be like, that's a s F. F. <laughs> this is a good way to do that. And of course, the gist of this is that one, you need to do it. If you're in high school, you're going to have to play a solo like this, Saint Song Cavatine, which, guess what? Like, probably two thirds of this is in tenor clef. Goes bass clef, tenor clef, it kind of alternates. You got to be able to read this. You can't just memorize it or write in all the notes. That does not count. You got to learn the clef. So, when you've got to do it, and two, you just have to do it. There's no shortcut. There's no like, 
oh, if you remember these letters, they line up. No, no, no. You just kind of learn your anchor notes. This is C or whatever. This is G. Whatever notes you choose to use. And you just got to sit down and just play a bunch of stuff in tenor clef. What's cool, or alto clef, is that no music is really stuck in the clef it's in. So I'll just use the example of this, even though it's very intimidating looking. Um, it's kind of crazy. It goes from C down to pedal C. And all you have to do is go, nope, it's not bass clef anymore. This is tenor clef. So now it starts on high G, E, D, B, G. I'm trying to read this backwards in tenor clef. It's really hard on camera. Um, and so any piece of music you have, including those earlier Bordonis, like the really easy ones at the beginning of the book, guess what? Just play this in tenor clef. So now instead of in C, this is now in G. And you just play it in tenor clef. You can change octaves too if that makes it way too high or way too low, I guess. That could happen as well. Um, but the point is, you just got to sit down and do it. There's no shortcut. I wish I could tell you guys that you could just be like, oh, it's just bass clef, but you know. You just got to sit down and learn it. And that's how I'm doing it on alto as well. Um, my problem, of course, is that alto clef is already really hard for me because I've just gotten into tenor clef. But also, I'm trying to add alto trombone to that, which is a whole new instrument in a different key with different positions. Even harder. And if I had gotten into tenor clef a lot earlier and it was just kind of proficient in both of those and then picked up alto, I think I'd be in a much better place. I'd be able to learn alto a lot quicker. Quicker because it wouldn't be interfering with my tenor clef knowledge. So in conclusion, learn your clefs and do it ASAP. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time.